these are the beaches in Nicaragua. Beautiful people. See how gorgeous it is? See that amazing home? But look at all of that. Isn't it beautiful? Hello, beautiful people, and have a beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you're all doing great. That is El Velero Beach, the little clip that you just saw was one of my, I love, all, I love, I love the ocean, so, but that beach is particularly beautiful. I hope you like it. I wish you could, I could take you all there. It's amazing. It's lovely. So, yes, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. It's all free. I want to th say thanks to all of my followers for coming to the channel. I hope you go and watch the video at Sean Atwood with me and Pidina and Ron, who's pretty cool. So, yes. Uh, yes. Thank you for being here. Now, why would Megan choose to walk through Hertz entrance, which is a very cheap thing to do, not a very dignified thing to do at all? Why would she choose not to walk in through proper entrances? I called Hertz company and I asked if it was arranged with Meghan Markle. I never say the Duchess, okay? With, the, with Meghan Markle. And the answer I got is all deals between parties, private parties, remain confidential unless, unless otherwise authorized by the party, by the other party. So, yes. Let me tell you, and I said, but that's really weird because why would she go in? Why would she walk in Hertz wearing yellow, gold, making sure that Hertz is shown all over the place? And they just laughed. Now, let me tell you what and why I think that this was con contrived and done. I am going to do a video later on. Yes, I'm going to do two videos today because believe it or not, the UK press, very prestigious journalists are now saying that the chase, the near catastrophic chase was real. In spite of all witness testimonies and people who were there, they're now saying that the chase was real, that it was near catastrophic and that Harry and Meghan had every right to feel scared. So let me, for now, let me explain to you about the Hertz thing, because this is really interesting. And it was very interesting, the answer I got from Hertz when they told me that they cannot reveal any deals between parties unless authorized. Let me tell you why. The Siegfeld Theater has this entrance that you see right here. You see those two cones? That's the Siegfeld entrance, right? So basically, if you are concerned about your safety and you want privacy, the quickest, fastest, and more secure way would have been to park between those two cones right there and walk the three steps, get out, and walk right in. That's the Sigfeld Theater. That's the entrance right there. They keep those two cones there for VIPs and people who are coming in. That was the most efficient, most secure, most private. They could have even had people put like, you know, those canvases so they can't even take the pictures. But no. Ibo Dibble here, this is a channel I follow, even took, showed a shot, a perfect shot of the two entrances, of the two exits, sorry, uh, where Meghan Markle gave her stuff, whatever it is that she got, or the, the award, or whatever it is that she got. There's two exit, two, you know, emergency exits there. Both of them go to a very private exit outside that nobody can see. But did Meghan Markle use it? No. She walked right out where you can see the Hertz sign. You see that, where, what I mean? Do you see that arrow I posted and I circled that up? Not Harry and Meghan Markle's idiot grin and the security body and the bodyguard's worried face. The Hertz sign. 
you can see it better when they're coming out. So they made sure to go through Hertz and get out of that door where the Hertz sign would be photographed very clearly. I can't, I, this is the best picture that I could show with the highest resolution, unless it was a video, but I get copyrighted for the video. So that's what we're having right there. Hertz, Hertz, Hertz. Remember the exits that I showed you inside the theater? One of them come out there in the further down circle. That's where the exit comes out. So basically the car or the trucks, or whatever, Suburbans could have pulled out right there. Yeah, they could have pulled out there, get Harry and Meghan Markle out and safely and privately take them to their destination. That didn't happen, did it? So when you Google Hertz in Suburbans, this is what you get. This is what Meghan Markle and Harry got. Are you telling me that they are so hard up for cash, cash or so cheap that they refuse to pay? Because these are $266.13 a day. Okay? So they were so cheap that they did not want to hire those three Suburbans for less than $1,000. They couldn't do it, or Miss Foundation refused to do it. Where is Miss Foundation's responsibility in all of this? Would you like to know how I know that Meghan Markle took her own paps and everything? If you notice, the carpet where Reuters and all of the news, major news uh, outlets were taking the pictures from, were at the red carpet, at the Miss Foundation red carpet. All of them, look, that's the red carpet. That's for that day. We're all then unknown D-list celebrities or nobodies or people you know who are activists and or are not in the public eye walk their red carpet. Even Gloria posts there with all of them, right? So the official outlets, news outlets invited to take pictures were there. Not Megan and Harry and Doria because of course, they are special. They get the red carpet. They get the red carpet. And those pictures were not taken by the major outlets, news outlets. So, I mean, I, 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 it, this is just mind boggling. And the fact that Gloria Steinem lent herself to this stupid shenanigans just goes to show what an imbecile she is. So just to recap, Meghan Markle made a big deal having the option to enter through a dignified, very beautiful entrance. Well, not very beautiful, but nice entrance where everybody goes like all the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce, Jay-Z, they all want to go through the main entrance of the Siegfeld uh, Theater. Meghan Markle, in order to get to secure three Suburbans that cost $226 a day, made a deal with Hertz. And also she got cash for it. She got cash for it. And why do I say that? Because when usually companies, when you ask them, did you make a deal with these people? They will tell you, no, we didn't. It's a very straightforward, there was no deal, there was nothing. It is not the case here. Instead, they said, any deals between private parties remain private unless authorized to make them public. There was no denial. And then Meghan Markle could have gone in any, like, as I said, sometimes they put canvases outside of that main entrance, which is just a little canvas because it's only like three to four steps from the, from the car. You saw where the cones were. So it would have been two or three steps from the cones into the theater. But Meghan Markle chose to endanger herself against, uh, against, Private security, her private security, the, these guys, especially Mr. Sanchez, knows he's worked with presidents. And I can guarantee you that he's frustrated, frustrated that not only did she put herself in any danger if there was ever, although nobody wants to harm that D-lister, but that they were placed in danger. Because let's not forget that Meghan Markle and Harry left the royal family 
and the monarchy because nobody tells them what to do. Please remember this when I do the next video because I am blown away that the UK press is now saying that the chase was real. At least very credible and somebody I thought was very respectable reporter. So having the, had the option of walking in with privacy, safety, and having the option to have left at the same way, they chose to, leave, to enter through Hertz rental car. And Mega's making a big deal, delaying the thing, saying hi to people. Even the Hertz guys are opening the doors for her if you look at the video. I can't place the video here because, guys, I get copyright. And she's like, hi. And she's withholding in the back of the way she goes. She, you know, she has a habit of putting her things, her shoulders really big and then hitching her head forward, like thinking she looks classy that way. So yes, Meghan Markle is Hertz rent a car golden girl. She's secured that deal. I have to have companies that I call and I ask, you know, did you make a deal with these people? And go, no, no, we didn't, you know, because of course they open themselves to lawsuit if they claim they, they you know, they struck a deal with this celeb, celeb, and and then the celeb says, wait a minute, I am not promoting you. So this goes to show that Meghan Markle is such a D-list and Harry. I am pretty sure that I don't know if Harry was told that he was walking in through Hertz or but they got paid money for that. Or there would have been a flat denial from Hertz. I mean, the next thing we're going to see is Meghan Markle advertising the poop spray while Harry's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> or, you know, advertising poop spray while they're walking behind from all the shit they, 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 they spread all over the place, you know. But it's, it's unbelievable. So please leave me your comments and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, guys. You're gorgeous.